it's time for another hair related video and so I've been doing things a little bit different when it comes to my regimen especially since we moved back to Texas now you guys I went natural in Phoenix Arizona which is very very dry um, there are definitely some benefits of having natural hair in a dry area like that one your styles last longer because it's not humid okay there's no moisture in the air um, but on a flip side, you have to be careful with the type of products that you use because there are products that you use that have, I'm going to butcher the word, cumanicants that require moisture in the air. But since Phoenix doesn't have any moisture in the air, we have a, I would have to avoid products like that. So there are certain products. And two, Phoenix had horrible water not to say the water in dallas is that great but phoenix water was hard we had filters on all of our showers i mean it was a big difference let me back it up to texas so i'm finding that when i use a blow dry when i blow out my hair um my styles last longer i don't get as many knots um my hair looks better i'm also finding that now when i wear my hair out I feel like it gets dirtier quicker out here. It's very windy here in Dallas. Um, the pollen is crazy. We get more stuff in our hair. And I'm talking about JB too because my son, Jabessa, his hair, he has natural hair. And I have to wash his hair more often. So back it up to the blow drying. I've decided to add a heat regimen to my current regimen okay so i've been doing this like i say this ever since we moved here but i haven't been consistent with it but i am so this is what i plan on doing y'all so i currently wash my hair every month so that means that i will be blowing out my hair every month now i'm gonna be very honest there may be some times where i won't blow out my hair but 75 percent of the time of out of the year i will be blowing out my hair again not using the comb attachment but using the tension method which i will demonstrate here in the video as far as products go not really changing up products a lot but i have introduced a new product which i reviewed a couple of months ago which is the Afrogee protein leave-in conditioner um but in addition to that i will also be using the keratin green tea reconstructor now this is going to be my leave-in because i don't really use a leave-in per se when I blow out my hair. If I do, I use a little bit of the Cantu leave-in conditioning cream, repair leave-in conditioning cream. Don't think about me, y'all. If I find a product that works for me, I don't switch it up. Even if I find a product that I like, I'm not gonna switch up because sometimes you can switch up a product and because you switched that one thing with all the products, your hair may respond differently. At least that has been my experience, okay? So as far as heat protectants, I have the Cantu Thermal Sheets Shield Heat Protectant. And then I'm going to be using a little bit of the Proclaim Glossing Polish. That is it. Now styling, because my hair will be in a blowout, blown out state, there are so many um, advantages to that and so many styles you can do it. Um, now I do have a different red by Kiss blow dryer. So previously, you guys don't ask me why I keep stuff. I just haven't had time to throw it away. Previously, I used the 2200. It still has it on. So for me, I have to saran wrap. No, no, no. What is this? Duct tape it. Girl, this is tape. I tape the attachment to it because if not, it's coming off every 30 seconds. This right here is the 2200 Pro Professional Red by Kiss. They didn't have this particular one and I needed a blow dryer because it went out. And so the same day I went to Walmart and I purchased the 1875, but it comes with the same attachments, okay? Don't ask me why again, I keep the box. It has the same attachment. So it has that, this attachment right here, which is this attachment, this is great for thick, coarse, three type, four type hair. So I love this attachment. When I'm applying the heat to my hair, the focus would be at my roots and not so much towards the ends because that's the newest part of your hair, okay? Now let me go ahead, jump in the shower, wash my hair. It's gonna be deep conditioning my hair today. And then I allow my hair to air dry for about 15, you know, 20, 25, 30 minutes because I don't need it soaking, soaking wet, okay? But it doesn't need to be dry, clearly, all right? So, okay, I'm going to jump into the shower and come back on cam, y'all. 
All right, you guys, I am done washing my hair. Now it's time to blow out. We're gonna be using just a little bit of the Cantu Thermal Shield Heat Protectant. And y'all, instead of using that Pro Claim, I'm gonna be using this Garnier Fructis Sleek and Shine Instant Sleek. I prefer this over that product. That is a little bit heavier. You can even tell by, is this water? No, it's okay, y'all, I'm so paranoid. All right, so we are going to start in the back of my hair. And hold on, y'all. Yeah, let's do that. We're going to start in the back. I'm going to take everything down. I have my jumbo white to comb slightly. I already detangled my hair in the shower, and then I'm doing it again slightly out. All right, so now I'm going to spray. Let me see. Spray right twice, okay? Now, <clears throat> I'm going to blow out my hair fast. We're gonna start on high heat. We're gonna end it on cool, okay? All right, so it's not going to get like really, really, really straight because I'm not wanting it to be that straight one. Um, and my ends, as you can tell, I didn't really, really want to focus on the ends, okay? And that's okay for me. It really is. It's okay. All right, you guys, so I'm continuing to blow out my hair. Now, one thing I do want to say is I am doing this in fairly large sections. Y'all have to excuse my facial expressions doing this. Anyway, I am doing this in fairly large sections. Typically, it wouldn't be this large for me. Um, and because of this, I had to go back a second time around. But both times, I was able to get done with my hair in about 35, 40 minutes. About 40 minutes, to be honest. Because um, I had somewhere to go earlier this morning. I also switched it up. I ended up using the Garnier Fructis instead of the Proclaim just because the Garnier Fructis is not as heavy um, as the uh, Proclaim. I typically do prefer the Proclaim, especially if I'm flat ironing my hair, which I am not this particular go around. But yes, you guys, now I will have to say I'm surprised that I switched to a blowout natural because I have been one person and it's all about minimizing heat on my hair, especially when I was in Phoenix. I probably use heat maybe four to five times times out of the year so to do this on a monthly basis is so new to me but it is necessary I did all of this in 30 minutes. Now, what? <laughs> let me tell you this, is that I did these in fairly large sections. If I was looking for a quote unquote sleeker blow, blow out, I would do smaller sections. I mean, look, look how big this section is. So yeah. All right, you guys, I let my hair sit here stretched out for about 30 minutes. We're gonna unravel, like I said, and we're going to do some more stretching, okay? Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Now I'm going to do this. 
All right, you guys, I am back. I know I look silly. Um, and I've actually trimmed my ends, not like this, but just to show you, I've been working on making sure that my ends, I didn't do a thorough trim, but they, you know, they look a lot better. So let me go ahead and officially unclip everything. All right, y'all, I had to get up and comb my hair. So yeah, this is short for me, but mind you, I took off about an inch and split ends, I really did, so that it could be good. So this is what the back is gonna look like, okay? And so yeah, it feels really good. You could tell doing this that, you know, feels good, feels really, really good. And of course, it's already reverting. So I'm going to put it away, y'all. <laughs> I really am. So that is it, you guys. This is how I'm going to be maintaining my hair. How are you going to wear it? So tomorrow, I'll probably, I do my, girl, I do the same thing. I take this part. I bring it up over here. Then I take some bobby pins. I put this like this. Then I take this side. Bring it up on this way. Do something like this. Yeah, I can't see. So I do something like this and then I, my hair is long enough that I can put it down like this. So I'll do something like this. And so it'd be like this. And then this will be down or sometimes I can pull this back up. So let me know. I know I have a few of you guys in my um, comment section. Let me know if you use heat for length retention or do you have a heat regimen? Let me, let me know, girls. So, that is it, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. And thank you as always to all of the subscribers. Take care. Bye.